Do you make them make that queer? Yeah. Me and Uncle were talking about going bush. What was she head, no? I wouldn't have done any good, Tama. I just would have made him look even more guilty. He's not guilty. I know. How could they do that? How could they just take him away and lock him up like he's some criminal, man? You know what makes it worse? I think Mum and Delphi know who really did it. You're kidding. Dominic Thompson. What? You should see how they are when he's around. Mum can hardly look at him. And Delphi, she's weird. You should have heard what he said in the court as well. He really hammered the nails in. Look, Tommy, you're all wound up and you could be reading things into it. Carl! Shannon, you should look back, man. It makes sense. I know he did it. I know it. Makes our stuff seem kind of small right now, doesn't it? I'm glad you're here. I want to be here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. We keep having this conversation, the one about patients who are not suitable for surgery. What are you after? Do you want me done for malpractice? Of course not. Maisie's records are fake. Then there's a the matter of the x-ray. And now the anaesthetist isn't taking my calls. Tell me this has nothing to do with you. Oh, come on, Chris. Give me a break. I've flown it once. I'm hardly going to do that again. What'd you do? Charm her into surgery? Plan of vanity? Talk to Maisie. There's probably a reasonable explanation. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. Good. I'll leave you to it then. You're coming with me. Sorry? You're GM of this unit. If you genuinely know nothing about the stuff up, surely you want some answers. Maisie, how are you feeling? I got been run over by a bus. Well, I'm not surprised. Gave us all a big fright today. Sorry about that. Hmm. So what's all this about? Are you up to telling me? Do I have to? I'm afraid so. We can't treat you properly until we know your background. And not the Hollywood version, either. I told a little white lie or two. You wanted surgery that badly. The records you gave us, where did they come from? I have an old friend. He's a GP. He helped me. Well, he helped you to take a serious risk. Did he explain that's what he was doing? I don't think I wanted to hear You've had one heart attack already, haven't you? Eighteen months ago. If we'd known that, you wouldn't be here. I never would have gone ahead with your surgery. I know. Still, I am a living example that only the could die young, I would die. I'll get Judy to come and see you. We need to talk to your real GP and any other doctor that you've seen in Australia or anywhere. All right? Yeah. Maisie, there's just one more thing. There was no one else involved here. It was just you and your GP friend. Just the two of us. Thank you. The nurse said I could come through. Any chance of a tea break? No. Okay, yeah. Uh, back to the flat hunting then. Uh, uh, Janine, after I dropped you off at the real estate place, I went home, I realised I'd forgot my laptop. Really? Who's Dennis? Who? Dennis, in the Bay of Islands. Oh, him, he's just a friend. Did Braden mention his name before he left? No, he emailed you. You read my emails? It was on my computer. He's just a friend. Another chat room friend? Yeah. Like me? No, nothing like you. Are you jealous? 
can't I have other friends? Oh, come on, we exchanged a few silly emails. It's not like I'm going to do anything about it. Even though you obviously gave him the impression that, that you will and that there was no other man in your life and that you had no children, all completely untrue. I thought we were starting on a relationship that meant something. We are. No, we are obviously not. Not according to Dennis. What are you going to turn up on his doorstep next and start telling him lies just like you've told me? He likes what he hears. He thinks he's on to a good thing. How many other men have you got lined up? How many others are you... Martin, you're different. I meant what I said. I was starting to fall for you. I really was. Just tell me one thing. Braden's dad, is he really abusive? Because if you have seen that boy somewhere where he is going to get hurt, just so you can have a life. His father's a storeman in Rotorua. He wouldn't hurt a fly. I, I don't get on with him, that's all. That better be the truth. Braden adores him, OK? I'll uh, go back to the hotel and pack my bag. I think that would be best. When I heard about the verdict, I couldn't believe it. No, I neither could anyone else. And Hanna was beside herself and Dolphy was a mess. It was just crazy. How's Tama? Shattered. Yeah, he would be. He looks up to Victor. Yeah. It's just such a horrible feeling knowing that there's nothing you can do. You know, you've really been staunch, you know that? No, I haven't. Oh, come on. Wanting to be there after everything that's happened? You know, you could have turned your back on them, but you didn't. And you're amazing for that. Glad I went. Hey, come here. Mm. Now it's my turn to look after you. I should be flattered getting all these visitors for the wrong reasons. Well, I'm not here to judge. It can't be easy in your line of work. It's easy till you're 25. You get to be my age, the work's as scarce as rocking horse poop. <laughs> Wrong side of 40, bit flabby around the edges, and forget it. Unless you want your face all over the tele-advertising incontinence pads. <laughs> it's a shame, isn't it? I, I don't turn on the TV much these days, but when I do, nobody looks real anymore. <laughs> you can't have real-life warts and all now, can you? Not when 50's the new 40. Or is it 30? <laughs> At least I've got my tummy tuck. I might be all right as somebody's grandmother. Best I can hope for now. Well, I'm sure you'll get something better than that. I wonder. But thank God for Joan Collins. She's an inspiration. That's a spirit. Congratulations. It was a nice performance for Chris. Got you off the hook. You know, the more I see you, the more I think you're a nasty piece of work. I got you your surgery, didn't I? That was what you wanted. And you got my money. The going rate plus a substantial premium. Funny how you never pointed out how big a risk I was taking. Well, you signed on the dotted line, Maisie. And before the operation, I gave you every opportunity to pull out. But if you want to make a fuss, you go right ahead. I'll make sure all the magazines get the full story. But it'll cost you to come back. Get out of here before I tell them the whole story, you smarmy little creep.